Good afternoon. Is it? I guess it's working, right? Okay, good afternoon, everybody. So let's start. I have a short film uh, about riding a motorbike and, uh, uh, and the life. If it is going to work. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's still early and it's time to get out, to be impatient. Life is not a highway. It is a road made of intersections, twists and turns, created by nobody else but you. Don't settle. So, <clears throat> life is not a highway. In the life and in the business life, when you're riding a motorbike, when you're managing company, right, there will be always curves, unexpected road signs, okay, bumps, but the road will continue. Today, I will mention about a motorbike trip, which I've done six, seven years ago, from Istanbul to Moscow, Moscow to Vladivostok. Vladivostok is uh, the far east part of the Russia, after the Siberia, above the North Korea, until the Japan Sea. And also, uh, this trip, oops, this trip actually took, uh, after Moscow to Vladivostok, 11,000 kilometers, eight hours time difference, and uh, 21 days. 21 day is very speedy because after Novosibirsk, there was no road at all. It was 4,000 kilometers more or less off-road uh, inside the Siberian forest. Um, I'm going to try to, during this, during this trip actually, I had to spend a lot of time with myself when I was riding my motorbike from 7 a.m. to uh, midnight sometimes uh, to think about okay the business life and everything and I found lots of similarities between the managing the company leadership management how you sharpen your management skills or what are the key learnings of riding the motorbike so I will try to explain some of them uh, to you what I experienced during this uh, trip First of all, you have to love what you do. Okay, you have to have a passion. If you want to have a success without loving what you do, you cannot go there. Because, as I said, the life is not a highway. There are always difficulties. It is so difficult to reach the success. There is a lot of competition. So, unless you don't love what you do, you don't work behind your objectives, okay, you cannot get the success. And any logical people, when they see a lot of difficulties, they will simply quit. 
riding motorbike. Okay, I used to ride from Istanbul to Bodrum during the summer at weekends. So if you have a car, I had a car with the air condition, why you have to ride a motorbike? Okay, you can ride your air conditioned car and you can enjoy your time. So you have to you have to really love what you do. Without loving what you do, you cannot go to success whenever you get because in order to reach to success, you have to work hard, continuously work hard. When you see the difficulties, even you have to work harder. Otherwise, any logical people, any sane pe person, okay, when they see these difficulties, they will simply quit. When you look at in nowadays, the young graduates, the new starters in the business, okay, we are experiencing these kind of examples uh, very often in our lives. Okay, I'm working very hard, I'm losing my private time. Yes, I quit and I'm searching another job. So this is the this is the route. The second the second thing, okay, you have to have a clear mindset where you want to go, what you want to achieve in your life. Okay? If it is a road trip, okay, yes, I want to go to Vladivostok. By going to Vladivostok, what I want to achieve with that. Okay, in the business also. If you don't have clear direction, if you don't have a clear mindset, okay, you will you will lose your direction on the on the road. Actually, I planned this trip uh, after I see uh, a couple British people who did a world tour with their motorbike. And also, I was trying to find a long drive, which I can get more experience on the off-road. When I see their film, they were very famous. Uh, when, I, when I see their film, they came until Novosibirsk, somewhere around here, which is the center of Siberia, big city. Still, there are roads. And after this, they took the train. They put all the loads all the camera and equipment. And I thought, I said, OK, uh, I can do better than this. OK, at least I can ride all this way. And I said, OK, I want to go there. Once you set up your mind, the rest, the planning and everything, OK, is the process. It is the detail that you have to complete. But also in the companies, OK, when you start talking about your project, there will be a lot of comments. Advisors, there will be some people with very big confidence, they will tell you why you cannot do that. Okay? Because there is no gas there, there is no road, you will lose your way. No one has done it before. Okay? So what you have to do, you have to listen to them. But you have to listen to them not to quit from your project. You have to listen to them to do the necessary planning. As I said, good planning and preparation is must for your journey. In the business life as well, you have to do the preparation. After I set my mind, OK, I will go there. And I got a lot of comment. They kill people on the road. There is no police, 4,000 kilometers. OK, there is no gas. All these are inputs. OK, if there is no gas, how am I going to find the gas? OK, how am I going to supply myself? And if there is something wrong with the motorbike, what I have to do. So for this tour, uh, I talked with my mechanic. I came with him. <clears throat> I, went to, I went to his, uh, his place. I worked with him one week, OK, like a worker. And also he listed what is the most possible uh, problems that I may have. I had some parts, and I, I've been taught how to change these parts. One of the parts, like you see here, okay, changing the front wheel uh, pieces. So whatever he said, I mean, 80% of the problems, actually, it occurred on the way. So you have to be well prepared in the business plan as well. But you cannot be prepared for everything. Huh? I mean, in the road, there will be always something unexpected, and there is no perfect plan. You have to. Always remember that if the main direction is okay, if you feel you're prepared, you shouldn't lose any more time. 
if you have your plan, some of the plan, okay, you will see and you will learn on the way. And the third thing, actually I said feeling the road, but in the motor, between the motor bikers, we say you have to feel the road with your ass. Okay, when you sit on the bike, okay, you have to be one piece with your, with your bike. And after that, when you're on the road, you have to really feel what are the bumps, okay, what are the curves, how much, how many degrees you are going to take a right turn, okay? But it doesn't happen in one day. You need experience. Execution always matters. If you don't have enough experience, okay, you will fall down. You will have an accident. So the best biker, the biker who lives longer, okay, anyone can ride the bike, but you have to ride your bike with the minimum accident, okay? And experience, in the same, it is the same in the organizations. You may have the best business plan in the best market, okay? But if your team experience level is not good enough or if you don't analyze ability of your team, your plan will be failing. So in order to get more experience, okay, sometimes you have to, when you're driving, you will have small accidents. Each accident, okay, has to teach you something. It's not bad, okay, if you are able to learn from your accidents. Okay, I was falling down. Uh, I had small crashes on the road, but every time it even increases your confidence because you know how to fall down, okay? And you know how to stand up again. Uh, about the feeling the road, also um, you have to you have to have a long kilometer, okay? If you drive only, my partner, okay, he was not very experienced rider. We had a lot of difficulties, okay? He had a lot of theory, good theories, but he didn't have enough kilometer. So when you don't have enough kilometer. You may do some calculation mistakes or you may have some errors. And also having long kilometer in the business is the same. Okay, when you're at the beginning, okay, you know less. When you go further, by experience, you learn more. If you can do more kilometer, you will learn more. But people usually have the tendency not to go out of the box. People usually do not stretch their limits. I have friends, I call them aquarium riders, okay? It's very nice to have a motorbike, okay? They buy the motorbike because it's cool. Uh, when you have a motorbike, you go on the streets, you go to dinner in the Baudat street, or you go to, I don't know, Yalawa or somewhere around, okay, for a dinner. And they do it three times, four times a year, and they are bikers. Yes, I mean, they have kilometer, but they do the same road. So what is the experience? Do they stretch their limit? Are they really bikers? In the business life also, I mean, they're managers, okay? So for me, they're just managers because they're not stretching level, uh, their limits, and they're not trying to be out of their box. So try to be not an uh, aquarium rider, okay? Always stretch your limits. When you have more kilometer, by stretching your limits, you will learn more, and it is going to make your next trip much more easier. You see on our road, we had a lot of incidents, each time by experience, by the preparation, by the training, okay, we manage. And also there's mindset about not giving up, okay, is important. If you don't love it, as I said at the beginning, you cannot manage it. Okay, when you bring your motorbike into this situation, you may easily say that, okay, I will take the next flight and I will go back. Of course, I mean, if you can find the airport around. Uh, so, in this case, uh, there was a problem with the gearbox. And you can imagine there is 2,000 population there is no any place for service, forget about the BMW, there is no one motorbike existing. 
So we found uh, we found a small uh, place. The guy who knows only how to fix the ladder. I explained him by the telephone by telephoning to my mechanic how to fix it. We made the piece. Okay, we invented the piece by using the ladder uh, pieces. So when you in your business also, you may have something unexpected, you may have an accident. As I said, you should never give up, but also you have to be always flexible or you have to try to find alternative solutions to make your company running or make your business going. And the last thing actually, one of the most thing, uh, most benefit that I get I spent more than 12 years in Russia, and I did this tour after the fifth year. I wish I had this tour in the first year. Why? Because I was traveling to different cities in the Russia. First, I was commercial director there. I thought that I knew the society, our consumers, and the regions. But when I ride my, my motorbike, okay, I amazed with the different level of lifestyle and, and with the different level of expectations of the consumer, okay? So you have, to, you have to really know the people. It's not only with your consumers, actually. Sometimes the managers have the tendency, okay? They sit in their office, they read nice KPIs, they look at their reports, and they have executive committee meetings with their direct reports or sometimes with their managers. If you don't go down and if you don't talk with your factory workers, and also talking means, okay, not only asking them and getting some answers, okay, if you don't know how to use the same language, okay, how to communicate with them, okay, the success will not come easily. So one of the key lessons, okay, you have to be a good communicator, but not in one or two level, in different level of organization, including your consumers. So, as a summary, I may say that the life is short, okay? You have to work hard. In order to work hard and get the success, you have to do what you love. If you don't love it, don't do it, okay? Because the life is short. You don't know how long you are gonna live. And, Please, when you're working, okay, remember my couple advice, okay? One thing is don't be an aquarium rider, okay? And the second thing is always push your limits and try to be out of box so people can see you are different than others, you are contributing much more different than others. So thank you for listening.